back to my channel or welcome if you are new. In today's video, we are doing a summer decorate with me where I take you outside and also show you a few things inside that I changed around. First, we are going to start with these ferns that I got from Walmart. I actually posted on my Instagram and asked if ferns would do well here in Colorado. Now, I have had these for probably over a month now and they're actually thriving. I ended up having to move them out of the sun because they were dying a little bit, but I am proud to announce that I have kept them alive. I absolutely love ferns, but I know they do well in humid climates, which Colorado is not humid at all. So I was a little bit nervous to see how they would do, but I am very happy that I went ahead and took the plunge. They are pretty easy plants to take care of. I just water them every other day and make sure that they do stay a little bit moist because again, they do like the humid climate. The planters that we are using for the ferns are from Walmart as well. I absolutely loved them. And if I remember correctly, they were pretty affordable around the $20 to $25 range. I will try to link them for you if I can find them. My mom totally has a green thumb, so I asked her to come and help me this day get them switched over to the pot and get all the potting soil in there. She has so many beautiful plants and flowers at her house. Hopefully one of these days or one of these summers I will get some more because I really do like having live plants and beautiful flowers. I don't think I will ever do them inside of our house, but I love having them outside. I think it just adds a really nice touch. So as you can see, here's where I originally put them and later in the video you will see where they ended up. Now because I am so invested into keeping my ferns alive in all of our shrubs and bushes in our landscaping, I am next taking the 7 Insect Killer Ready to Use Spray. This kills over 130 insects and pests without harming your plants. You can use this on vegetables, fruits, roses, flowers, shrubs, trees, and other outdoor plants and surfaces. So before use, you wanna make sure to shake well and then hold about a foot away from your plant and spray just enough to cover the area that is being treated. Now I'm hoping that this will help me keep my ferns alive even longer so that they do not get infested with any bugs or pests. I am also going to our front landscaping and I'm going to spray down our bushes and plants that we have here as well. You can also put this on trees, which we did do, but I did not film. I'm sure all of you know how important it is to keep out insects and pests out of your landscaping or if you are trying to grow a garden. So Seven Insect Killer is really important to have on hand. I want to thank them so much for sponsoring today's video. And if you guys are interested in checking them out, I will have a link in the description box below. Next up, we are going to tackle our front entryway. This area is a very long, skinny hallway, so it collects dust like crazy. So I'm taking our leaf blower and I'm just going to get all of that extra dust out of this area. And then I'm going to lay down our rugs. So the first rug that I have, I honestly cannot remember where I got this from. If I do remember, I will have it linked in the description box or I will link a similar one. Then I'm getting our brand new mat from Coco Mats and More that is personalized with my new last name. I love the way that it turned out. I could not be happier. And then I'm taking these artificial boxwood trees that we picked up from Big Lots. They do have some really pretty lights on them as well that you can turn on. We have left them off, but it does give it a really nice touch at night. I ended up moving them back towards the door because I did think that it looked a little bit better. And this is what our front door ended up looking like. I love the simple yet tasteful look to it. I feel like our personalized mat really tied this area together. I actually made our welcome sign that you see hanging on our front door. It was so much fun. We had a neighbor girls night a few months ago and it was such a fun time. I definitely wanna do something like that again. We have this funny dog sign on our front door that gets a lot of attention when people come to our house. 
As you can see, here is the final resting spot for my ferns, which I absolutely love. So you guys will have to let me know what you think of our front door area. Now I also wanted to show you our beautiful peonies that we got from Trader Joe's. If you have not already, run to your local Trader Joe's. They have the prettiest peonies. Every single year I get so excited because they are one of my favorite flowers. Peonies and hydrangeas are hands down my favorite. I can't remember what this other flower that I got. It almost looks like baby's breath, but it's not. And when we checked out, the girl at Trader Joe's said that it smelled really bad. I personally don't think it smells that bad, but Curtis and everyone else that smells it says it does smell bad. But thankfully it's not too strong and you can't smell it too much. But I did think it really added a nice touch to the peonies to fill in in this pretty large vase that we are going to put them in. So as you can see, I'm just going to cut the ends of the stems. I always cut at a diagonal and then I'm putting some plant food into the vase to hopefully keep these alive as long as I can. I'm going to show you guys how these peonies started and what they looked like kind of at the end of their life. It was crazy to see how big they got and the different colors that they turned. I had never seen peonies go through so many phases when I've gotten them before, so it was really fun to see. You guys will have to let me know if you've had this experience with any peonies. And also let me know what your favorite color of peonies is. This was my first time getting this kind of darker pink red color, but again, you guys will see, it was absolutely stunning to watch these change over the days. I'm also changing out my candle to this yummy Eat My Vanilla by Kendi Lux. I will have it linked in the description box down below for you guys as well. This candle smells so good. I love vanilla candles. I feel like you really can't go wrong with them. So here you can see how absolutely stunning the peonies got. They got so big and changed to the most beautiful orange color. As you can see, there was also this really pretty pink one. I was just so amazed with the way that they changed over the week that we had them. I'm also going to be adding a floral centerpiece to our kitchen table. I got these at a local grocery store and they are my other favorite flower, which is hydrangeas. And I also picked up these really pretty greenery stems as well. They were really affordable. I think they were $3 for all of those stems. Over the years of getting hydrangeas, I've learned a few things to keep these bad boys alive longer than a couple days. The first thing is taking all of the leaves off of the stems. This helps so much because the leaves take over the water and does and let it get to the flowers. So that is the number one thing I would recommend if you are getting hydrangeas. And then I cut the stems at a diagonal. I also replace the water every few days and every time I replace the water, I cut the stems again at a diagonal. You guys will have to let me know what your favorite flower is in the comments down below. That is going to complete today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel down below as well as following me over on Instagram, which is always linked in the description box. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.